this video you will learn how to create this gorgeous text effect in Adobe Photoshop CC. To create this text effect you will need to download and install these patterns and a font. Patterns are the mask pattern and tileable stone pattern. Font which we will use in this tutorial is great vibe font. To download these patterns and font link is given in the description. It will be fun so let's jump in Photoshop. Welcome back everyone, my name is Adnan Chaudhary from OneShot Production. So let's start our work, go to file, new, we will create a new document. The document name will be text effect as we are working on our text. The size of the document will be 920 by 1080 pixels, resolution is 300 pixels per inch and background contents are transparent and hit OK. Now we will press shift backspace to fill it with white color. From the contents we will select white and hit ok. It will fill the background with white color. Go to effects, blending options. Now we will apply pattern overlay. Uh, click on this uh, drop down arrow. Click on this gearbox. Click on load. When you will download these, those patterns just unzip them if they are in raw file. And then click the demask patterns and click on load. These patterns will be loaded as you can see that and we will use this uh, gray uh, pattern so this uh, its name should be demask pattern to gray so click on this okay so the blend mode is normal opacity is 100% scale is 200% now we will make a little bit darker so click on color overlay and blend mode is vivid light and the color is black 0000 and opacity is 2% now we'll click on gradient overlay now we'll change this blend mode to overlay and this gradient color is click double click on this arrow and it is 060606 hit ok and the second color is 3c 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 and hit ok hit ok again opacity is 100% and it should be reversed and the style is uh, radial and angle is uh, 0%, uh, 0 degrees sorry I am saying percent and scale is 150% and hit ok but without hitting ok we'll just click right in the center of the document and pick this white color to the top a little bit or upward a little bit so it could it will create a nice uh, light effect so hit ok now we'll create a new layer press T from your keyboard to call up your text tool and click canvas and type your text type any type of text OSP TV so press ctrl A the size is 100% 100 pixels and we'll change it to 150 or maybe 130 just adjust this and we'll the font which we will use is great vibes regular so when you will download install this and use this great vibes and select this one. okay so anything else which is left uh, yes this thing just close this uh, or uncheck this uh, thickness fox bold and it should be uh, zero so click check mark press ctrl a and we will just align it right in the center of the document for this we will align horizontal center and we'll click on align vertical center so press ctrl d don't worry about this uh, white color we will use different type of patterns and uh, great overlays and it will be covered so now what we'll do is go to effects blending options and there we will apply our pattern overlay okay so now we'll load our second patterns which are uh, we can say marble texture click on this uh, gearbox and select load patterns and we'll select our marble tileable marble pattern 
so load them okay so we will use this uh, dark uh, it is uh, I don't know what its name but we will use this dark uh, pattern as it is only one in this list so click on this and now it should be blend mode should be normal opacity should be 100% and scale should be 200% you can size it down or up it's depend on you but I'll use uh, the 100% let's just apply on 200% so it is nice now we'll go to gradient overlay its blend mode should be color dodge and let's click on this uh, gradient palette there we will apply different kind of colors the first color we will apply is a little gray color so it is uh, its color code is c4 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 hit ok click right a little bit uh, maybe it's okay here and we'll uh, give it a color of ff 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 for white color so hit ok now we click on third color and the color code is 7a 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 hit ok let's create the fourth color and it should be ff 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 for white color as you know as we have created four and let's create a fifth one okay so the fifth color code is bc 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 and hit ok create the sixth one and it uh, should be ff 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 and hit ok and the last one is c4 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 so remember that here we have created seven different colors as you can see one two three four five six and seven let's just adjust them okay so hit okay okay so the opacity should be uh, 80 percent 87 percent and uh, the angle is 90 degrees scale is uh, 100 percent and the style is linear so nice now we'll go to bevel and emboss here the style is pillow emboss technique is chisel hard depth is 1000 percent and direction is up size is 3 there is no need to soft them so it is 0 pixels and the shading for the shading the angle is uh, minus 53 degree but first just uncheck the use global light and then apply minus 53 degrees and the 37 degrees and the gloss contour should be oh sorry it's a glass contour shoot glass contour and the gloss contour should be this uh, ring double anti aliased checked and highlight mode is vivid light and uh, it is a white color ff 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 and the opacity is 100 percent shadow mode is multiply and it is also 100 percent as it is the black color so hit ok now we'll go to contour and the contour style is uh this one which is uh, gaussian and range is 100 percent and anti alias check okay so now we'll create a nice golden border so for this we'll go to outer glow the blend mode is normal opacity is 100 percent and the color is 775816 and hit ok the technique is softer spread is 100 percent size is 2 percent and other things are as they are now we'll give it a nice little stroke around this text and the size is 2 pixels position is inside blend mode is normal opacity is 100 percent and the fill type it will be color so you will change it to gradient and now we will click on this gra uh, gradient palette and they will select four colors the first color is eo 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 it means e0 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 and hit ok then we will click on second color it is 8e 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 and hit ok third color as you know all e0 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 and the last color is 7a 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 so hit ok 
Locky again and the style is a linear as you know angle is 90 degrees and scale is 100% now we will separate this text from background for this we will go to drop shadow the blend mode is normal opacity is 81% we will change it to about uh, 90% angle is 103 degrees distance is 7 speed is 7 size is 4 but I will ex exceed this to about like 27% speed should be also increased so it will be more interesting it is 12 so the new settings are 7 pixels speed is 12 pixels percent and size is 27 pixels and now we have done this effect so you are waiting for the final preview so just click or hit ok and boom there we have this nice little text effect look at this man it looks like so pretty nice but we will make some changes in that because it is not look like what I want so you can see that the pattern is a little bit blurry in this text so what we'll do is we'll go to pattern overlay and change the scale to 100 so hit ok now it looks like what I want so I know if you want to create this text again and you don't want to mess with these settings and these uh, color codes and these things to make it more easy for you we'll go to effects blending options you can see that all of these blending options are applied so we'll click on styles click on new style name this style to uh, new effect and hit ok now hit ok again this text effect will be applied or saved now we'll create a new text just click any type of text just type as and we, will we want to apply blending options on this so we'll press select double click on this uh, layer then select styles and just click on that one and it will apply same text on this so just delete this layer and the same thing we will do for the background so we will go to effects blending options and go to styles create new layer style and type it as bg and hit ok hit ok again now just turn off this uh, uh, background layer create a new layer press shift backspace fill it with white color to check whether it is working or not we'll go to effects blending options and we'll go to styles and click on this so you can see that it is applied very easy just in one click so i hope you like this tutorial and uh, you can create many type of colors in that style if you like this video make sure to hit that like button and uh, subscribe to our channel to get more videos and uh, see you in next video and take care keep learning